Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you a project that is on my radar for the month of July. And that project is called Pokedex. And they're making the claim that they are the future of decentralized crypto trading. Now, before we get too far into the weeds, I do want to make it crystal clear that this information is provided for educational purposes only and is not intended as investment advice. In the end, you need to do your recon and only you are responsible for the decisions that you make. So if you're wondering why Pokedex is on my radar for July, we can jump over to the Pokedex testnet's event schedule and if we scroll down, you can see they have a lot of plans for launches in the month of July. They are looking to launch their order book, which is their main product, the week starting July 5th. And so that is basically the first full week of July. And following the launch of their order book, the week starting July 19th, they will be demoing their IDO platform where users will be able to create and launch their own tokens. And at some point in July, they will actually demo how trading bots are going to work on their platform. Users will be able to place test orders using vanilla trading bots. And at the very beginning of August, it looks like they will be deploying their Pokedex trading bots. And so clearly the project is intending to have a very busy month in July. However, you do need to keep in mind that these projects oftentimes will delay rollouts if there are bugs or fixes that need to be made so it is possible some of these features may not actually deploy but the main feature the project is looking to launch in July is their order book and the Pokedex order book will offer users advanced trading features via a non-custodial exchange it will be a unique gateway that allows users to trust a non-custodial operator who is at the same time capable of executing trades in a level 2 environment at very high speeds. And since Pokedex will not have control over your funds, transactions are peer-to-peer -peer and fully decentralized. So in the end, crypto traders that are using the Pokedex order book can enjoy the best of both centralized and decentralized worlds while focusing on making profitable trades. And to me, it does look like they've put a lot of work in the user interface for this order book. They actually include level twos, which, which you do generally see on centralized exchanges, but not necessarily on decentralized exchanges. And I believe you'll be able to make market orders and limit orders, place stop losses. And it does also look like they'll be integrating TradingView charting software. So it should feel like most of your centralized exchanges that we currently use. However, with that being said, Pokedex plans on keeping fees in check and they plan not to charge any network fees for transactions. These fee-less transactions will be achieved via Layer 2 scaling solution. And since all executions are happening off-chain, verifying and eliminating bad actors in the process, there are no fees for transfers. So from some of the recon I've done so far on the project, it sounds like they plan to be high speed and low fee. And if you have any experience with some of the other decentralized exchanges like Uniswap, the fees are outrageous and some of the speeds are also extremely slow. And Polkadex appears to have a solution for those issues. Now one of the features that actually grabbed my attention on a project I would probably pass on at this time is the fact that they have on-chain trading bots. And as I mentioned when we looked at the schedule, they do plan on rolling out these trading bots in the near future. And they're basically looking to bring high frequency trading to both retail and institutional investors. It sounds like we'll be able to connect some of our favorite trading bots via APIs. In addition to Pokedex plans to eliminate such bottlenecks of traditional decentralized exchanges as front running of orders by paying higher gas fees. And so if they are able to deliver on these features, this could be a very valuable weapon to have in your arsenal. Now we'll take a quick look at the token economics of the Pokedex platform's native token, and that is PDEX. Now, since Pokedex is a multi-feature project, the Pokedex native token PDEX is designed to be used for multiple functions. The Pokedex native token will be used to pay transactions and trading fees at a discounted rate. I'm guessing that'll be similar to like the BNB token is on Binance. 
In addition to, you'll be able to use the PDEX tokens to participate in Pokedex IDOs, participate in on-chain governance of the network, become a validator of the network by staking. So they'll have a staking feature for this token as well. And you'll be able to nominate validators of the network. And so there is definite use case for a token. And when you're doing recon on a project, one of the things you must see is actual use cases for the token. Otherwise, that token is worthless and more than likely just another crap coin. Now we can get a little further into the weeds into the Pokedex native token, a PDEX, over here on CoinGecko. And for starters, it is a very small cap token and normally would not have my attention, but because it is geared towards traders and some of the features they're looking to offer, I decided to give it a look. And so with that being said, you'll see the rank is 587. That is well outside of the market cap area I normally look at. And so again, I will stress you need to do your own recon and make your own decisions. This particular project is going to fall more under my sniper targets and those are long shots. And you don't always hit those long shots. And we can see the current price for a token is just under $13. The overall market cap is only 22 million, almost 23 million. Again, micro cap on this particular one. But occasionally these small cap tokens pay off big. Now, if we look over at the 24 hour trading volume, it's less than 400,000. Again, not a lot of liquidity currently, but that can all quickly change with the launch of their product, the order book. Now, when I was reading through their documentation, something else that was very interesting to me is they do have a max supply of their tokens of only 20 million. And if you actually read through the documentation, that number could actually fluctuate as they will be doing burns. And so you could see that number go as high as 22 million or as low as 18 million. But from what I could gather, it should never be higher than 22 million. And with that all being said, that should solve any issues of inflation. Now, if we scroll down, we can see the all-time high was $39.38, so almost $40, and it kind of depends on what exchange you look at. The all-time low, they're reporting as $11, but in reality, if we jump over here to KuCoin, when the token launched over on KuCoin, it started out at $2. Now, it did run up pretty quickly and pulled back, bounced up to around that $40 mark, now, it did return to a high of around $39 in May, right before the Bitcoin crash, and it crashed along with the rest of the market and has kind of chopped along since then. And so I may take a nibble at this level, and if the bears stay in control of the market and continue to push prices down, I may continue to scale in at lower prices. Or if we see the bulls take control and pricing starts to move back up, again, I could scale in or wait for pullbacks to buy dips. And so there are a few different platforms you can trade the PDEX token on. If you don't have a KuCoin account, I will drop a link in the description down below. And you could use the link to get set up with KuCoin. And one of the nice things with KuCoin is they do launch a lot of new tokens on their platform. So you do have an opportunity to get in at the beginning. All right, now for a quick recap on Polkadex order book and what it aims to offer. Basically, a convenient and user experience via desktop, mobile, and app versions with a high level of security for user funds. You don't actually have to send your funds to the platform. You'll just connect them like you normally would through like a MetaMask wallet or some other type of wallet. But they will also offer you the opportunity to buy crypto directly from fiat. Now, the order book will also offer advanced trading features like high frequency trading and integration with trading bots and market makers with lightning fast APIs. And speaking of lightning fast, the order book will feature high transaction speeds up to 500,000 transactions per second with low latency of 20 seconds. In addition to, they'll have zero gas fees and the elimination of front running tactics. And from what I can tell, it appears they plan to achieve all of this in addition to interoperability between blockchains and cross-chain liquidity support. So they should have the liquidity needed to run this order book. All right, now it's time for you to go do your own recon and you can do your recon at polkadex.trade. I will drop a link to their website in the description down below. 
But for now, that pretty much wraps it up. So if you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you like to see more videos like this, I suggest you shoot the subscribe button. I will be creating a lot more videos like this in the future. So again, just shoot that subscribe button and you won't miss out on future videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop those in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Polkadex in the description down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money in the battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.